Happy body. All right, so welcome to Rumbi Uncensored. You know, good evening to everyone. And this little night show is going to be an interesting one. Can I tell you something? Finally, we caught Zanopi of Red Ended. You know, uh, actually, I mean, there were speculations. I knew since day one that actually Songhezo Shavangu was Zanopi's proxy. I knew it well, 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 well. I knew it. It was re the footprints for Zanopi was all over the place. I mean, um, you know, considering the last script that they used in 2018 when they destroyed MDC, we knew they had it, their fingerprints all over Singhez Shavango, especially how the whole uh, process was um, so moved fast. I was like, uh huh, no, 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 definitely some PF has a hand there. But this is exactly where we are today. So we're going to be looking at because the story, because Mr. Mutangwa definitely exposed themselves. We call them red, red-handed. Good to see everyone, and thank you guys for coming through. Welcome to Rumbi Uncensored. Don't forget, if you're new here, to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, and also to turn on your notification button if you're new. And my regulars, come on, let's have a chat. Finally, we call some people red-handed, y'all. Red-handed. You know, what I always say to people, it's easy, man. Lies have short legs. They have short legs. <laughs> Zanopi have been lying, trying to convince Zimbabwe that Songhez was with some uh, Chamis. And by the way, guys, I just want to say to every person, especially my Twitter family, I know Twitter, you know, so Twitter, you know, one thing that I will tell you from my understanding is Facebook is mainly for drama. Drama, if you want drama about Zimbabwe, find it on Facebook. But they're also incredible people there, but mainly drama. Twitter is known for men and women of great minds, but there's a bit of drama there that is coming there, but it's known for people of great minds. And then when you look at TikTok, it's definitely jokes. Uh, definitely jokes, but also a bit of drama right there. And um, you also look at Instagram. Instagram is about the lifestyle. So if you want to see lifestyle, fake lifestyle most of the times, fake lifestyle, go to Instagram. <laughs> yeah, fake if you... <laughs> People just take, um, you know, they can take a picture while they're just walking there, maybe somewhere in a nice place, and they can show you like that's their daily life. But when you get to get deeper into their day-to-day -day lifestyle, mm -mm, most of them are miserable. So Instagram can show you the lifestyle most of the time, fact, like I say. But because I trust my Twitter family, you know, I, I'm really much on Twitter for your own information. Um, and people we thought maybe Songhez was this kind of person. <laughs> when he came on the picture, people trusted Songhez when he came on the picture for the first time, you know? Like, ah, they thought this dude has got something to offer. And for real, for real, he's really someone who's disgruntled. Because remember, Songhez would be seen, you know, attending a season coalition for change, um, you know, he was seen, uh, I mean, this was a time of the, on the Kaben trial, but you know why he was on the Kaben trial? Because this guy has been planted by, by Zanopi a long time ago. <laughs> now, to confirm what, um, uh, you know, Gideon Gono said, Professor, he said, the day Zanopi have claimed victory of an election, that's the day they start consolidating power for the next election. So, this will show you that Songhezo was planted a long time ago long time ago so you thinking that oh no but he was there with citizen coalition for change oh but some of their complaints are actually authentic i've heard people say that no but he's actually authentic because he's complaining about things that are important no he was not complaining about nothing all the stuff they were saying most of them are not true you understand if it is a process where we are choosing a leader for example in terms of uh, choosing members of parliament and also uh, you know councillors and if that this was the you know the template that was applied to everyone, why only the few were disgruntled? Why did we see a lot of people coming to um to the to to most of um uh, Chamisa's rallies if they were disgruntled? You know, but they knew it was um definitely Zanpia um smashination. Um, you know, it's their weapon trying to destroy citizen coalition for change. You know, they work tirelessly. The only thing that Zanpia is good at is to destroy <laughs> everything that is good they destroy and so they specialize in destruction you know or um, you know creating things that are not there just to feed their ego no when you're toxic when you're toxic even if you get to a place where there is peace you want to make sure you cause commotion so you can feed your ego it's you know okay so one of the things that i learned um when i've been doing a quite a number of research in terms of spirituality and you know and how the brain works is that if you're used to live in a space where you're uncomfortable, 
all right? The moment you, you, you kind of visit a place where there's peace and serene, you find out that your mind will immediately begin to bother you and say, no, something is missing. It doesn't mean that where you are is a bad place. It's simply you saying, I'm comfortable with this toxicity, you know? I wanna give an example. Let's say um, a person is, and we're talking about this actually, this uh, evening with my sister is, let's just say someone was in a relationship, in a very toxic relationship, or someone is very abusive, and they've been sitting there for a long time. So what they do is when they find someone who's a good person, they're actually going to push that person to the edge because they're looking for toxicity. Is no, you are too nice for me. I want you to be angry, you know, so you know, you're too nice for me. And I think that's why I struggle, I personally I struggle to really, to, people don't understand me because I think the thing I'm, I'm not too pristine, but I, 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 when I mean dating someone, I'm very much, I'm thorough and I'm honest and I mean business, you know, so I don't waste people's time. But I, I find it difficult because I think men, men are used to toxicity. They're used to meet women who are just lying, they're fighting. And, and then they, they, they expect me to do, be the same. I'm like, I'm not like that. I can't function from toxicity. I function from love and in peace. So, duh. Zanu PF Opera is exactly like that. They can't function from love. They function from toxicity. So now, uh, Chris Muchanga sought them out quickly just like that. Sought them out. I want you to take a listen to what Chris Muchanga said. Now you see why I'm saying Chris Muchanga sought Zanu PF out today embarrass them actually humiliating them you know he's a he, that man is a mouthful you know he talks but then he doesn't know where to draw the line you really really sold out as on pf today you know um <laughs> there is no way out of all the people who know who have been in citizen coalition for sure you did all the hard work chris mchanga decided to up uh, to celebrate songezo shamangu he decided to celebrate Songezo Shavangu, Chris Muchangwa today decided to celebrate Songezo Shavangu today. That no, this man is one of the most, one of the most hardworking, organized men in a citizen coalition for change. Take a listen. We are a far cry from the other party. We're the only organized person in that party is Zerendu Chabang. Everybody else there is disorganized. Here you saw organization at work. Clockwork orange, no acrimony. The leadership of the party, all of it, lining up, supporting President Munangagwa. No reactions within the party. We know how to build a party. We've come a long way. We did it during the war. And we appeal to the Triple C that they should come here and learn how to organize a party. Otherwise, everybody will be wapusa, wapusa, as they were saying. And when we are wapusa, wapusa, anybody can fire nobody, and nobody can fire anybody in that particular part. It doesn't happen in ZANU PF, that kind of behavior. Because we know who we are, and we know structures, and we know the hierarchy, and it all ends up with present targets. We are a far cry from the other party. We are the only organized person in that party is Zerendu Chabam. Everybody else there is... The all right. The only person who's organized in Citizen Coalition for Change is Sevenzo Shavangu. This is Chris Mutangwa saying. Chris Mutangwa is saying the only organized person in Citizen Coalition for Change is Sengezo Shavangu. <laughs> the only person who is organized in a Citizen Coalition for Change is Pe Mutangwa as a Shavangu. What is that supposed to tell you? He's a proxy. They planted him. And I'm coming for those. We're attacking Nelson Chamisa this past week. You know, you know, this is what I'm saying. Zimbabwe, we are too educated to be free. I'm telling you facts. We are way too educated to be free. <laughs> it's not every battle that requires brain capability. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. You know, the moment I heard about Shawangu, I knew immediately this is NPF's project. And when I was saying, people said, no, there's a lot of splitting in the citizen coalition for change. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the split? People d d even try to drag or to rob, um, you know, what's his name? Wash Mingwe and Tendai bit into it. ZANPF went as far as creating a, a, a fake audio just to satisfy you. 
to say that there's a there's a there's a split citizen coalition in Virginia. <laughs> I can do I'm a dad I had I swear my dad I go ping I did I've never seen it, you know. As much as I, I knew that people were crazy, <laughs> I knew people were crazy, but I did not know that some people is this <laughs> crazy. I think they are really, really crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about mentally off. <laughs> did you just hear what Michelle was saying? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Muchango, don't forget, Muchango was the one who was talking yesterday again, saying that um, Chamisa came to Munangago to, to ED, the president, Emerson Munangago, president, that um, please help me, I need to do, <laughs> I need to remove me, then watch me. So Nelson Chamisa now approached President Emerson Munangago. This, this is from Muchango's words to remove uh, Chende ED. Like, these people are get, I, I'm literally going mad daily, and you guys will think this is political. But man, what could I I'm telling you, my face. <laughs> this is not a political issue. When what could I Honestly, like it's no longer a political issue, guys. This is very embarrassing. Like I was like, what? But he said that um, you know that he, you, you know, I told you the story yesterday, but I wanted you to take a listen again. When Muchangwa said that um, Chamisa came to to ask ED that I need to remove today, which means take a listen, please. <laughs> Any claims of a political rift in the opposition? <laughs> Kelly Mabaye brings us the details. It was a battle of words between <laughs> Zanupia spokesperson Chris Muchangwa and Triple C spokesperson Promise Mukwananzi as allegations and counter allegations of conspiracy theories continue to fly around. Muchangwa, who appeared to be stroking flames, took to a press conference claiming that Nelson Chamisa was looking to page E.T. and Walsh Mengube in a political settlement with Zanu P.F. Pusa wa pusa, where every energy is spent on trying to outwit each other among themselves. So all we know, we have to protect E.T. from Chamisa. We have to protect Walsh Mengube from Chamisa. By simply not ref refusing to partake in conspiratorial democracy. We are not believers in conspiratorial democracy. He wants to conspire against his own colleagues using ZANU PF as a cover. And our president says no. That's why we are saying maybe Poland is the best way for, for, for us to proceed. Because nobody cheats anybody in Poland. Because Shamisa has been all taking overtures to say to our president, can you become an accomplice so that I do a shaft meet? I shaft to watch me. Now it looks like in blow the tables are tent. I'm told the events of Chabamu and and Welshmen are very close. So he is reading the same rule book which Chamisa read against him to war. You see who I You see, you see. Zan Pif is creating they literally like their only mission to destroy citizen coalition for change. But I've I've been telling you. Citizen Coalition for Change is not a political party. It's a citizen movement. Listen, the change is written on our hearts. It's not, it's not something that we, we said, oh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a, poli I don't care about politics. I care about seeing a Zimbabwe that functions. And the people want Nelson Chamisa as a leader. That should be understood. That dead politics won't work. It can never change what's on our heart. It can change us. We want to see a better Zimbabwe. It is what it is. It can't, it's not negotiable. It's non-negotiable, Mr. Mutango. But you can see, they create things that are not there. They were busy writing stuff. I remember I told you on the eve of, 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 of elections that George Charamba tweeted this script on Twitter. He tweeted the script that all these events that you are seeing that are going on today, they were tweeted, this script, that he was alleging that he met one of the citizen coalition for change leader who was disgruntled. And that is Shabangu. And remember, Shabangu is working with Jonathan Moyo. He confirmed that, yes, I'm working with Jonathan Moyo. Shabangu is working with Jonathan Moyo. And you've seen Jonathan Moyo bashing Nelson Chamisa left, right, and center. That has been happening pre-elections, even post-elections. Today, because he has been, you know, he's been away because, I mean, he was mourning his daughter. May the daughter rest in peace. And remember, the daughter that passed away, 
Remember, he was mourning his daughter, but he came back today. He started by tweeting again, attacking no social media party. Oh, no, no, citizens. But you know when he attacks citizens, we just go there. We, we have, we've made up our mind that we're just going to go and dirty, 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 dirty. So we do. So we always go there and just dirty, dirty. To say you're talking nonsense. But he's a professor, but he's, he's flat. Yo, you know, that's what I'm saying. We don't need too much of education in Zimbabwe to change your situation. We just need principles. We just need to say, let's turn, turn. We were going to the right, let's turn to the left, left. Or we're going to the left, let's turn to the right, right, we turn. All we need is to turn and everything will be fine. But unfortunately, we are not willing. We keep on pursuing a journey that is going absolutely nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Now, I'm going to love one of the examples that my father used to say when he was talking about uh, uh, the issue of relationship. And he was talking uh, that, um, you know, when it comes to some people, it's possible to be with the wrong person in life. You was, was saying relationships are like, um, if, if you're, you see roads when you're driving like along a um, highway, right? There always be roads that are little branches out of the highway. He said, all oh, the roads are incredible. He was saying to me, men that you're seeing, all of them are beautiful men. They're amazing men. They look good, all of them. But one thing you must ask yourself is, does a man take you to a destination? <laughs> Because just because if, if I'm driving here and I'm, maybe I'm driving this highway next to me, is, is called the N1 highway, that goes to Pretoria and it goes to Devon. So I'm here. So if I want to go to Pretoria, I'm going to go up right to the right. If I want to go to Devon, I'm going to go to the left. So let's just say I find myself, I need to go to Devon, but I find myself in Pretoria. What do I do? I'm going to turn so I can go back to Devon, right? It's easy. I just need to turn. And he was saying most people can stay in a very toxic space or relationship because they just don't want to turn. They're just following a person who's going absolutely nowhere. They're not going anywhere, but they don't want to turn. That's exactly where we are now in Zimbabwe. We, we don't have problems in the country. We just need to turn. Simply turn from the left to the right. Everything will settle. Everything will be fine. But Madara, they rather, listen, they rather follow the low, wrong route to an extent where they want to rob everyone to the wrong route. And people are like, we're not going nowhere with you. Go on your own. Now they go to a point where they're just frustrating because they are frustrated that, yeah, you don't want to go with us. No, how can we follow you when you're going absolutely nowhere? Where are you going? Where, what's the destination? So because before we look at the, uh, at the GPS, where are we even going? Absolutely nowhere. They'll just tell you Vision 2030. So show us the roadmap. No roadmap. Believe us, Vision 2030. Show us the roadmap. There's nothing. So Mr. Mtambo is trying, but unfortunately we're not following you, sir, because you are going absolutely nowhere. So for us, we are saying if you are going nowhere, we are also not following you, sir. We are not following you. So for those who didn't know, Mr. Mtambo confirmed today he's busy hallucinating. He's busy, you know, supporting Mr. Cervezo Shavangu, that is the only man organized in a citizen coalition for change, who is not even being known in the party anyway. Take a listen. We are a far cry from the other party, where the only organized person in that party is Cervezo Shavangu. <laughs> Everybody else there is disorganized. Here you saw organization at work, clockwork orange, no acrimony, the leadership of the party, all of it lining up, supporting President Munangagwa. No reactions within the party. We know how to build a party. We've come a long way. We did it during the war. And we appeal to the Triple C that they should come here and learn how to organize a party. Otherwise, everybody will be wapusa wapusa, as they were saying. And when we are wapusa wapusa, anybody can fire nobody, and nobody can fire anybody in that particular party. It doesn't happen in ZANU PF, that kind of behavior. Oh. Because we know who we are, and we know structures, and we know the hierarchy, and it all ends up with present targets. We are far okay. cry from the... Now, with all your structures, where are we now? Where is the country going? With all your structures that you are busy breaking with, the structures that busy abducting people, killing innocent people, abusing people, lying, manipulation, are these what you call structures? No, there's no structure there. Peep thugs who are busy screaming and screaming and, you know, busy intimidating people is what you call structures. The, you don't have no structure. The country is stuck with your structures. We'd rather have a structureless space where we know we are moving somewhere. Where are we going? Give us a roadmap, sir. Instead of busy talking about... Who is Cervezo Chamangu that is on PF is busy, busy, busy celebrating? 
Now you can see why Jonathan Moy was busy attacking Nelson Chamesa. Because he's definitely working with some PFs. Working with the ruling party. Somebody alleged that he was given some money. Allegedly, the person told me, but you know what? I was not there when the money was being exchanged. But allegedly, you know, um, there was a deal happened there. Paying this daughter school fees, whatever, in, the, in London. Allegedly, you know, which doesn't even bother me. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about a country, it's a country that functions. That's all I want to see. I want to see Zimbabwe functioning. But you have seen now that Songezo is an PF so proxy. So for those who are attacking Chamis, I just hope that you know you're apologizing and say, Mr. Chamisa, we are sorry. We believed in this. <laughs> we believe in this. <laughs> we believe in this lie. I just hope you're apologizing to Nelson Chamisa why he was quiet. That's what men of class in Idegrid does. They don't just talk. They don't. They take their time. They know where to say and what to say. I've always been saying, if someone is saying lies about me, I don't even need to defend myself. I rarely even answer. I don't answer. I just keep moving on with my life. Because I'm focusing on the ball, the goal. I'm focusing on the mark. I'm not worried about who says what. People can say whatever they want to say about me. What matters is where I'm going. I'm here to fulfill purpose. Chami says focusing on the vision. Not what ZANPF says or what Seveso Chamangu is saying. He was claiming that he was part of the part. He was all over. You heard him. We, we had listened. All of us, we listened to his interview. And the guy was all over the place. He did, does not even have a clue. He's calling himself a secretary general. We don't even know how to conduct an interview. He, on his own, he saw Dr. Zanupia immediately. Now, Muchangwa is making it worse. He's been making it worse. Today's busy. Oh, you can know Seves Muchangwa is the only one who is organizing the party. How can he be organized? In a part that he didn't even form. How, where, where are his structures? Who is he? Again, Zanupi of selling themselves out. They are trying the script that they did to destroy MDC. Sir, this time it will not work. It, it will not work. As a matter of fact, Citizen Coalition for Change are very much united. Don't forget, Washman movie fought for the 12th in, in, in Blawai. Don't forget, Chennai BT is actually right now in, um, in uh, it's supposed to be in Botswana. He's supposed to be, he was in Sadak now. Talking to Sadak about the, the Shama election. So are you saying that citizen coalition for change are not together? It's a lie. They are selling you a fake lie. The problem is what you see online and what people are saying out there. They're just simply being paid to spread lies. Ask yourself why they're so worried about SADC summit. And you heard allegedly by Zim Live that uh, Mr. Mnangwe have been trying so hard to push, um, you know, that there won't be a summit. But unfortunately, the summit is happening tomorrow. It's there tomorrow in Botswana. They are sitting so they can deal with the Shama election. Dr. Mumba made it clear, loud and clear, that we can't afford to have any, any, any um, you know, disputed election in Africa. We cannot afford because there are consequences. Because I, I'm sure, Sadak, as much as you, I know some of you are saying Sadak has always been a problem, you know, but give them a chance this time. Let's see. Because, I mean, how many people who definitely, uh, you know, send reports that Zimbabwe's election was a mess. Give them the chance. Let's see what is going to happen tomorrow. We are waiting personally. And we are waiting. Absolutely. Our eyes open wide. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, but I said, don't forget to pray. Pray. So that is divine intervention. Divine intervention is God who find his ways to get in the minds of men and change their thinking and give them the right words to speak and tell them the right verdict to, to report. That's what you do. That's how divine intervention is. Even if there is a script written right now that people would want to be in support of. But miraculously, miraculously, God will go in there and change everything. Then you just see someone writing and said, there must be a free and fair and credible election. Boom! Now we're all celebrating. We are back to business. We're going to be traveling again to get registered to vote. <laughs> you know, why not? That's what we need to understand. Divine intervention is what we need to pray for. So, now you know Sengezo is Zampia's proxy. Where to? He was just, I remember when people were saying he was just smoke on the screen. 
He, now, now he has stopped doing interviews now. You know why he stopped? Because he knows that he has been caught. Unfortunately, Zanpef could have looked with someone who was more professional. So guess, unfortunately, he did not play that game properly. He is not a good actor. He failed dismally. Uh, when I listened to his interviews, I was like, dude, you are actually not the right actor. They could have looked at someone who was more diplomatic, who could have been annihilated that position, maybe protected the regime. Unfortunately, he saw them out just like that. Now, I miss some time. I make it worse. It's like he's a drunk. I didn't take some whisk there. And the man is coming, selling him out. He's celebrating a man that, you know, is celebrating is the only organized person. How can a citizen movement of millions of people who are supporting citizen coalition for change have one man who's being, who's being called an organized man? How did he just wake up and become organized? So all the efforts, all the sacrifices that people, the investment that you saw that happened pre-election, you did not, some people didn't see. They only saw so guess will be the only one who's organized. No wonder why they were so, you know, they were desperate to actually know what was the criteria that Nelson Chamiso was using in order for him to select his MPs and councillors. And they played them. At the last minute, they tried so hard to frustrate every move that Citizen Coalition was taking, and they haven't stopped. They are still fighting them. Now you tell me that Chamiso is weak. That's a lie of the devil. The dude is, is actually not weak. He's very, very, very strong. Zanupiev is breathing Nelson Chamisa. If they speak Nelson Chamisa, they breathe him. <laughs> Zanupiev cannot have a presser without mentioning Nelson Chamisa's name. They can't have a presser without mentioning his name. So you can't tell me that he's not strong, he's not powerful, or he's not important. Definitely he is. I don't care about his age. I know some people are having a problem. Yeah, I just want to ask you a question. Do you have a problem of having a president who is 45 years old? Honestly, I want you to type in the comment section. Does that bother you? And I only want men. I only want men. I had some men. That was actually Java. It was a joke, actually, uh, saying that, um, you know, I really wouldn't want to have you know, so Chamis as a president because my wife is going to use him every time to attack me. I don't think so, hey? I think it's actually inspiration for me. I feel like when you have someone who's young, who's doing well, I get inspired. I'm not a person, I'm not a jealous person. I'm 40 years old. He's 45. If he's the president of the country, I mean, I like it. Five years old. <laughs> I'm far to become a president of the country. Far. I'll be happy if he can be the president. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem. Do you guys find it difficult for you to accept to have a president of a 45 year old? No, be honest in the comment section. Especially men, I would want you to comment down there. Because some men are saying it's a bit of a tricky one. That's one thing that people are saying. It's tricky. He's too young. Because then we feel like we've, you know, no, guys, you are amazing people. You should never do that. We all code for different purposes. And it's okay for him to be a president. Let's support him. Let's believe in the young. I don't have a problem. I've got people successful. Look at Fazemaya. Fazemaya is younger than me. She's doing extremely well. I celebrate her. I don't have a problem with her. I'm sure she's doing incredibly well in the political space. I'm doing incredibly well in my own space, no matter how small. I'm, I'm good there. You know what I mean? We should never worry about someone's age, but rather celebrate the gift. The, the, let, me, let, me, let me make this clear too. Nelson Chavez is not a leader by virtue of politics. He's a leader by virtue of chosen. The man is called for that position. And I'm not saying this trying to please you. I'm telling you facts. Okay, in, in, um, I never met him. I met him only once, and I met him live in, in uh, where was that? It was uh, Jimston when he came to South Africa. I met him in Jimston. I can tell you facts. And I even came back and I told my family, I was like, listen, honestly, I wish people can understand. Nelson Chamisa is annoying dead. You know what? How anointing works? I know some people, you think it's about the church. Anointing has nothing to do with the church. It has more to do with equip. You are equipped or you are graced to do something. Nelson Chamisa is anointed. No wonder why people connect with him. They just love him. Some people can't even tell you why they love him. They just love him. You know, they just love him. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about that, you know. They just love him. Because he is anointed. Get that right. And it's okay. He's not the first time to be, he's not the first one to be anointed. David was taken from the bush when God was looking for a king in Israel. David was taken from the bush. And his brothers were educated. They had the stamina and the stature to be leaders. But God said, I don't want those people. I want someone, bring one of your child, Jason. He was like the youngest in the bush. I'm busy. I should put them all bed. 
the mom, mom but you know, like, you know what I mean? And God kept on saying, oh, there's someone missing right here. I need someone who's missing. Jesse, bring all your sons here. And until Jesse said, oh, I've got only one son left. He's actually busy. He's busy as a shepherd. God said, bring him here. And now David, because he had experience fighting the bear, protecting the animals, God used him to fight Goliath. You must understand how God works. I, I don't care how the world functions. My point is I know how God works. God can use anybody. And God can use anybody. He's just anointed. You know, in a family of 10 or in a family of uh, 6 or 2, one person can be pulled and be the anointed one. You remember Cain and Abel, the children for, of Adam and Eve, the first kids. They had two kids, Cain and Abel. Abel was blessed and Cain wasn't. What did Cain did? He killed his brother because he was blessed. And the Bible is very clear that he was killed because he was blessed. They didn't say, he's just, he's just blessed. Some people are just blessed, you know. They don't do much, but because they can the anointing. But also remember, the anointing don't just come. The anointing comes with a cost. It comes with separation. I'm saying to you, there is no way, if Nelson Chamisa was living a reckless life, would you be in that position? No. It came with sacrifices. He sacrificed a lot of things in his life to get to where he is today. You may be shocked. You don't know what they're doing. Sometimes they are fasting maybe for about a month in their home, praying for the country. You don't even know that. And you're just seeing, him, oh, he's a politician. You, and, and be in mind, you may not be perfect. That God is not looking for a perfect person. We only had one perfect man that came, Jesus Christ. The rest, you and me, we have fallen short to see the glory of God. I'm a sinner. You are. That's where we are. Sinners were in need of a savior. So he is not perfect. You may know some of the things that you know. That does not take away the anointing. It doesn't. If you're anointed, you're anointed. I'm not a perfect person. I have my own flaws. But if I'm anointed, you can't change it. It's, it is what it is. You just have to, to, to say, praise the Lord. And life goes on. He's just anointed. And no matter what, Zanupiev does try to fight him, they will not win. God won't let it. God is will work out things in his own way. Some people are saying, no, he won't. Gonna be. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't stop frustrating the will of God. You can't. If you frustrate it, nothing will work. Don't frustrate the will of God for the nation. Let the will of God prevail. And I remember talking to Savior Kasuku, and I said to him the same thing. I said, let the will of God prevail. When people love something, it means that the will of God is connected to that which the people love. And the moment you guys frustrate it, you are literally extinguishing, you're frustrating the progress of the country because you do not want what God wants. You want to fight with him. Let the will of the people prevail. If God wants him, let it be. Why are you stopping him? Why? <laughs> you know, you see why people are fighting him. They have, it's, there's been fighting. Nelson Chambis. People are not fighting any political party. They are fighting the person. They are simply fighting Nelson Chambis as a person. It's not. As a person. It's not the political party. It's the person because they know he's strong because he's anointed. Make peace with it. Let's move on as a nation. Or if you want a successful country, it's not about, you know, you, you can't be worried about, um, you know, who is leading. What you want is a functioning nation where opportunities are available, where our funds are being managed well, where the country is progressing, where we have, where our infrastructures are intact, where our children are protected, where we know that drugs are, there's no space for drugs in our society. Remember, guys, I don't know when did Zimbabwe started to engage in drug addiction. Because there were no drugs in Zimbabwe, we didn't even know what a drug was. We want to back that society where we understood that our children were safe in the streets. Today, you never know your kids are not safe. Armed robbers, we didn't know armed robbers in Zimbabwe. It was very rare, but people were safe in our streets. But today's different. People aren't safe. Let's restore our country. That's what you and me want. Not who is a leader, who is not what. As long as the person can lead us where we are going, praise God, that's what we want. To have a Zimbabwe that functions. So like I said, Zanupi have sought themselves out. They are uh -huh, behind Sogezo. Another Ford project. After that drama that happened with Faz. <laughs> with Faz. Now we are sitting with another drama with Songezo. Failed project. An embarrassment. Not class, not well thought of. No, 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 not to that. And again, it reminds me of what happened with Kasukure. Remember when they, they when Kasukure booked a ticket just testing Zanupiev 
and the, the leaders, and they saw the army was all over the airport, and the bodies were there, and they took the shot, and they said, look, the army is at the airport. They already know when it's coming through. The, I, mean, I mean, to me, I'm sitting, I'm like, so we are, we are not safe when we book our flights? We're actually not safe? <laughs> Intelligence. We can do better as a nation. Really, we can do better. It's time that we tighten up. We do what's good for the country, not what's good for jocks. Let's work together to build the country that we want. You and me. It's what's more important. Now, let's, take, let's just hear what people are saying about this issue of Songhezo. Because it's up there. We posted it. And oh my word, really? It went like wildfire. There's a story that I'm going to touch tonight. Very, very important story because that is still directed to most of my brothers right here. So let's hear what people are saying. And by the way, guys, you saw what happened with the appointment of Valerio Spanda. Right, you know what happened? I'm gonna look into that story shortly, but let's see what people are saying regarding the issue of Sengos Shamango. People are going nuts on Twitter, apparently. The comments there, and uh, some of them I can't read because they're using vulgar, some are angry. So, Goro Migo says that PF always exposes opposition sellouts. They used to kill during the war, Tendai Beat Wash Remember when they were done with Monzora, Komichi, and Muzuri? They just expose themselves, and this one said, kick, 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 some people don't have this such a ego. And uh, some yellow said, It's giving obsession, they're obsessed with Nelson Chamis. And it's, you can see the regime is obsessed with Nelson Chamis. I told you because he's anointed, you can't deny anointing. <laughs> Unfortunately, you cannot. It's, it is what it is. I know how it works, that's why I'm not bothered at all. I just want us to move forward. And Orlando said, Why are they worried about structures in our party? You know, I don't, I can't say some of the words because they're really vile words, um, which I'm trying to run away from. Um, and this person, uh, this one is definitely a PF supporter. They said, as far as politics is concerned, ZANPF has mastered it, not their supporter and it will never be. But it, it, but if it comes to having proper strategy, whether constitutional or unconstitutional, they are pretty organized. I, res I, I especially respected that many speaking there because he walks the talk. So this is a ZANPF supporter, ghost account. So what ZANPF does is they've employed quite a number of people. We have ghost accounts. We kind of try to push the agenda of every lie that ZANPF does. They said it's correct or they say coin like or they try to support. This is exactly what you have heard. It's a, it's a ghost account. When you follow it, it's going absolutely nowhere, but the assembly is on PF, uh, you know, those employees that are working uh, to push a propaganda on behalf of the regime. And uh, Nine Life said, when it's on PF comments and sings praises of you, either you are their project, nor that politically you are finished. It's, you know, honestly, honestly, Songhezo. You know, some, I, don't, I don't think some people really think before they act. I don't really care how much money you get. Honestly, I don't think they think. You're selling your destiny. You're selling your future. I mean, this is the dead on your name forever. I mean, no one will ever respect in our society. Guys, people forget that much chamber. Imagine people don't really think, you know, this politics will pass. Politicians are going to pass. But yo, some of you are young to be used. I remember talking about Mangwana, the young boy that literally fought Kasukwiri. I said to myself, you're too young to dead your name. You're way too young. Don't allow politicians to use you. You are way too young. Because these people, most of them are really mature. Very soon they'll go home to be with their father. And the year found you left your, in this world struggling with all these toxicity around you. People don't forget. The internet is too, don't forget. Today, most of the times, I see people being attacked. Even the G40 people are being, no, so the G40, G40, they are being attacked today. You know, why they're in exile? Because of how they nest toxicity that Mugabe was spilling over the years. You don't want that on your name, Songhezo. This is not good. I mean, for a man, it's really not good. Like, it's, a real, it's, it's really embarrassing. I wouldn't want that to raise me at all. I wouldn't want that can be part of my life. But people don't think. They just think of now, now. It's what I'm getting now, not about the future. They don't, this is what I'm saying. We are lacking a vision as a country, the lack of vision. It's more of instant gratification and forgetting that, no, life is a journey. We are going somewhere. And there's so much competition in the world. Things are changing. And we can't remain in the back. We can't remain. We need at some point to stand up and rise up and do what's supposed to be done. The right thing. And um, so, 
And then following said, even Matema Danda once said Monzora is better than Chamisa. Remember, whether we use Monzora, where is he today? He's finished. He's finished. Forget about being finished from a political party. Being finished, you lose your dignity. The moment pe people start bashing you, you lose dignity. There's something about dignity. In apart from uh, you know, a leadership or a title, your dignity matters. There's just something that comes about you, you know. You as a person, knowing that you, you have never hurt anybody, you know, knowing that you have your peace, even when you make mistakes, it's okay. But when you intentionally, especially the situation that we are in right now, people are can't take the nonsense that Sogez is doing because so much was invested. People invested a lot. Crying or really thirsting for change. And you know, you come in, you're trying all this drama to cause confusion. People hate you forever. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. There's nothing you're going to do to stop it. And this Spencer said, whenever you hear the opposition showering praise on you, then there's something clearly amiss with you. ZNPF is good at annihilating opponents, not baby feeding them. Shamangu is their project, 100%. It's definitely their project. It's known. I mean, it's seen. I know it's their project. I said it day one. It is their project. And Morris said, someone must tell me some that they will have, that they have erections that are always kept under lock and key by, by raw power. The removal of President Mugabe and the exile of the rest of the other team on the back of guns and tanks is the worst display of erections. Agreed. And then a tree said the party where nobody can fire anybody and where anybody can fire nobody. Mabeza Elder. You know, it's uh, it's very <laughs> This is our PF support, of course. <laughs> of course. And calling citizen coalition for change, Wapusa Wapusa. What do they mean by that? They, they, listen, that party is well structured. The, the structures, like I said, I personally have proved that there are structures because the time I was trying to map our polling sessions, for me, I was really dealing with where I originally come from, Mashingo there. Um, we knew there were structures. I mean, I remember, so so said, phone so and so, and phone so and so, and there were structures. And I was shocked, actually. And the people were like, no, you'll be surprised. Most of people here are just citizen coalition for change. There are structures. But they can't be because people have to be safe. You have to protect the masses because you know how they are. You know how rugged this regime can. So you have to make sure that people are protected. That's one of the reasons why their structures are actually hidden. I think I would understand any time, any day. If it was, if the ground was leveled, I mean, we would know this is so and so, this is so and so. But unfortunately, the politics in Zimbabwe is toxic. So what do you expect? And then um, Farai said, what a shame after making our judiciary laughing stock and destroying everything they touch. Looting farm mechanization and also uh, remote managing the judiciary. This is sad. Absolutely sad. It's fair with the judiciary. I mean, imagine a country where there's no rule of law. It is sad, really. It is very sad. And um, um, I am a princess said, why is he concerned about opposition? Why is he so concerned about opposition? But of course, it's their project. They want to destroy. They, instead of fixing the country, triple C is their project. Every person who's always come stronger is their project. Since day one, I remember Gloria said they pauperize the masses. Zanpef's goal was to make sure everyone is poor so that they can control them. You can see how they control the rural masses. They kept them in poverty so they can control any time, any day. I saw we we know she by today. Yeah. Giving men that guy, you remember the guy that was dancing that day on the inauguration, they were saying, and this guy was dancing an old man. And people actually, you know, began to think that he was that dude that um, that was saying uh, E.D. Wuchi, but he wasn't. You know, I saw we can actually do giving money, taking videos of a person, like humiliating old people like children. These kids, these kids are humiliating our elders in the society. That's how bad um, and how much we've lost our morals. I, nothing that I hurt, and I say to God, God, no matter how much you bless me, make sure whenever I'm a blessing, my camera is off. I do not take no camera. If I'm becoming a blessing, it's just me blessing anybody. I will not, not take nobody a video in my lifetime. It's embarrassing. It's not godly. You'd give to God. It's just looking for cloud. I'm not like one of them. And it has to be stopped. Some people say, no, it's to encourage. I don't think so. Majority of people are using it for cloud. And it's wrong. Don't use people for cloud. It is wrong. It's definitely wrong. It has to be stopped. Now, let's look at this tweet, really regarding the, the, the army. 
very, very, very vile tweet. <laughs> so, you know, Karina Mujati, he was also part of the G40, but very, really, you know, close to some of the people in Lacoste. Because remember the moment that the Mugabe, um, you know, was um, removed, immediately, you know, some people just move. They move from this to there. You know, Zimbabwe, most of our people are, you know, don't stand for anything. You know, they just love you when things are okay. The moment things turn ugly, they move. Immediately after Mugabe was removed, some people that were from Mugabe just move on the other side. So these are the people that kind of, you know, you know, divulging information. She said the reason why Valerio Svanda has been into ZANPF Politburo is for the party ZANPF to have direct access to all military intelligence. The president ED is going to retire all those senior officers who have reached the age of Skise 5 in, Z, in, in ZNA, Air Force, prisons, ZRP, and CIO, of which the majority are war veterans. Emerson Mnangagwa wants to eliminate all the uh, senior war veterans in our security services and dilute their powers because ED is angry about them as the war veterans wanted to eliminate ED during 2022 Harare Sheraton Zanpif Congress. This is the same reason why ED stopped the War Veterans Congress, which was supposed to be held uh, this year around March stroke April time. Valerio Swanda and Chris Mochangwe are advising this directly to ED. Hence, ED um, counterpointed uh, Mochangwe to the Ministry of War Veterans. When War Veterans win the war, a veterans had sacked Chris Mochangwe as chairman. Unfortunately, the same misguided war veterans appointed Mochangwe to be the chairman again after discovering that ED does not want to lose Mochangwe. All the war veteran serving members are going to be retired and powerless. ED has already earned junior officers in ZNA, Air Force to be trained and further their schools outside Zimbabwe to pave way for his ambitions as on the turn of these junior officers they would be appointed as generals. War veterans, the, point, the moment you blink, you are all gone, all of you. Uh, I think uh, that you died for the country. I bet you better die again. I've told you that I struggle to read Shona, so please understand. I struggle to read Shona, um, but I can speak. But reading, to try time wearing my words. So please, I'm sorry about that. So the appointment of Reed of Valerio has been an issue that people are questioning in terms of, especially when it comes to the constitution, that it is illegal for him to be appointed as a ZANPF Politburo, especially that he's also in the defense forces. But I also heard recently that he is supposed to be, to retire. So I don't know how more risk can we, you know, but I, I, still, I still have respect and love for Simanda, personally. I think he's one of the most decent, um, you know, army person I've never seen. He is not, he's, he's just a calm guy. You have heard him talking on that video that we did. For those that haven't watched it, when you watch all the videos where I have a video that is talking about the army, you will see him speaking about how they were being taught to share. But people were saying, but he also talking about how they lost their dignity. And people were questioning, what dignity are you referring to? Because we as a Zimbabwean people right now, we have lost our dignity because of the party. So if you are saying you guys were fighting for your dignity then during the Smith regime, but how on earth did you now start to snatch that dignity for us here? And not only did you snatch, you have made up your mind to keep us as ransom, you have decided to take the dignity and put it away from us, and you are not willing to return it. When are you going to return our dignity? That's what people are asking. Valerio as well. So now, Brighton, being such a, a very wise man, he began to dig deeper really on the issue of um, of um, Chris Mutangwa and also um, Sengoso Shavango. So he said Chris Mutangwa is obviously understandably obsessed with the Shavango issue. He's not uh, the only one. All of Arakash are having their Christmas early by the subject that in itself is telling. Because the moment Shavango came to the space, I saw most of the Zanpia people on Twitter just boom! Shavango, 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 and I knew that oh this is their script i have you know the people that are mainly on twitter especially that you call varakash court and court i'm sure they they sit and they plan all these shenanigans so that at least they can have an ammunition to cause chaos in the in the opposition party but he said number two ed proclaimed by, by the by-elections date with unseemingly haste and we saw shamangu retaining the favor through be, uh, bestowing legitimacy on ed via the bogus isg office 
It's no widely accepted that Shavangu is Edis proxy. No matter how hard Muchangwa and his eels tried, they are rubbish. They are rubbing their hands with glee. With glue, I think that's what it is for a reason. Of course, glee or glue. So maybe for those who are, who are English, <laughs> help me here if I'm correct. Is it glee or glue? Because I am, I think I wanted to say glue. Glee? Mm -hmm. I still need to check. You know, my English, I, I taught myself English for own information. Yeah, I taught myself English, actually. Mm -hmm. I hated my English teacher. I hated my English. No, I don't know if I hated him, but I was afraid of my English teacher. He was too serious. It was like he was getting in the class, like serious. He was known, you know, for being a serious. Man. God bless you, Vamfuka. You know, I love you. Because most of my teachers actually watch these things. So I love you. I still do. But he was very serious. And I am a child who functioned from, I like, I, let's party. Then you can see me doing things. Let's just party, you know. So yeah. Number four, is said the irony is, of course, not lost that Chris Eady and others were arbitrarily dismissed from Zone PF in 2017 before they used the same tactic to install themselves and dismiss G40 members, including Robert Mugabe, a founding member. Much more importantly, man, but this is not true. Robert Mugabe was not a founding member. There was that guy, man, who was a founding member who passed away. What was his name? I forgot. Robert Mugabe was not a founding member. I remember when this guy was out of prison and Robert, she was, he was walking back and forth there. The guy founded Zanpf. It wasn't Robert Mugabe. Stop telling guys, give people the right information. People didn't even want him to be the leader of the country, actually, Robert. They wanted, um, you know, father, you know, the, the Develle Gomo. They didn't want to want Robert Mugabe. I'm not surprised why. People could not align. They supported him, they believed in him, but in, in return, they had the some people that loved them. He said, much more importantly, when Musengezi, oh, Saibeth, okay, Musengezi, a young prince put in committed ZANPF member tried to hold ED to account for acquiring power through a flagrantly breaching ZANPF's constitution via a coup. He was arrested on Trump charges, remanded in custody, and his hospital bombed, and his high profile court application before the High Court was mothballed, uh, clans uh, destinily. As I previously argued, what is lacking in constitutionalism, both the ZANPF national constitutions are routinely mutilated when found inconvenient. There's no single political party in Zimbabwe, the opposition or ruling party which is able to take the moral high ground when it comes to constitutionalism. Even my beloved constitutional uh, law lecturer, Prof. Maduku, who persuaded us as young law students to join the NCA and its formation played and refused to vacate the NCA leadership position after two terms and is now its de facto life president. And can I say this? I'm extremely, extremely disappointed in Maduku. I said, extremely disappointed in Maduku. It's not breaking. If you want to see how Zanpef can use people, check Maduku. Check Linda Masarira. Check Monzora. And I'm not playing. No one that Zanpef used that actually has something to show. I'm not even talking about material. I'm talking about them as people. They're finished. When I look at Maduku, the whole professor who taught quite a people, incredible people that are doing amazing things, the dude is finished. It's heartbreaking. You're asking questions. And the last time I checked, I thought people would have such an incredible legacy. But no, it's a mess. It's a mess. This is why I'm very much passionate to say whatever it takes, yo, let's restore dignity because we can't afford. Yo, me, I want to be that grandmama. I want to be that grandmama where children are like, mama, you know, my kids, you know, my kids when they have kids. Hey, by the way, guys, listen, I'm a mama of two, I'm a mama of a, a teenager here for only for. <laughs> I'm a mother of a teenager for your own information. Yes, I have. <laughs> God have blessed me with a son, yo. You know, I'm that mama that, um, you know, I, I, listen, I would like my grandchildren to say, no, I want to go to grandmamas because that's where we're going to get the goods. That's the kind of grandmama I want to be. So I'm not going to be a grandmama that I don't have nothing to offer my grandchildren. They'll be like, mama, we want to go to grandmama's house, Christmas time, holidays, Please take us to grandmama's house because that's where we're going to get the goods. That's the kind of grandmother that I want. And I wish you also desire the same. 
We are tired of poverty. Let's get rid of this nonsense because one an incredible legacy. We cannot nursing nonsense when we see our people finish right under our eyes. That's not the life that we deserve. And that's not how it is. The Bible says, and a great man will leave inheritance for his great grandchildren. What did they mean? I should train my children to work, but also a legacy of posterity. But everything that I work, I keep for my grandchildren. That's how scripturally, that's what God expects of you and me. That's why it's so important for us to defend and fight for the peace and restoration in our community. It is biblical. It can't be defended. We need to apply these principles. They work. But it starts by us standing up and saying we cannot allow this nonsense of ZANPF to carry on. We'll fight and stand for the country that we know we deserve. It's the Zimbabwe. It's a country that is a country of our forefathers. That we know without our forefathers, without the country that the Lord has given us, we'll be here. You and me, we should stand up and say, uh-uh, we love you, my brother. Says, Take away these banners. Our fathers, uncles, let's restore our dignity. Zimbabwe is our nation. Let's fix this place. Let's fix it for ourselves so that we can live an incredible legacy. So that our children are always going to remember that we are such an incredible people, this generation that fought for the peace and restore the dignity of our people. It's for you and me to do so. Iwene ni tinebasa, asande sana. Iwe neni tinebasa, asande sana. We must never forget that. Iwe neni tineshi tinebasa, to restore our dignity, to work together and build the Zimbabwe that we all want. Please drop your location today. I just want to send you some love. Drop your location now. I just want to check in with you and see how you are doing. And so that I can sign out. <laughs> I, 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 for me, I'm not resting until we have the Zimbabwe that we all want. Yo, listen, I'm, I'm a film. I love party. I love, I love party. I love family, you know, those gathering, you know, unity and, you know, eating and drinking and, ah, ah, right now I can't wait for Christmas to come. Yo, when are you going to go there? Like, like I'm that kind of person. I'm, I'm a, a family. Let's have Sunday lunch. Let's have Friday dinner. Let's have, I'm that kind of person. I'm a family oriented person because I've learned that life is to be enjoyed, not endured. I also have learned that God can come anytime and take your siblings. The time you have to enjoy life with them is now. Don't play with it. It's now. We are tired of meeting every time at funerals. It's time for us to meet as we gather with our family members, our cousins, our uncles. We may not be perfect. Look what America does. They have what they call Thanksgiving every year. They gather and they begin to celebrate life with their family members. And thank God for what he has done for the year. It's time for us to begin to apply principles that work. Celebrate family. What is life really if we have to suffer all the time? We should rise up and say we don't deserve this. We deserve a community of love. Did you see what happened when Miss Samnanga had a birthday? Do you remember the president when he had a birthday recently? The, did you saw the grandchildren were there. Their, their, their daughter-in-laws were there. The, the wife, everyone, the children were all there celebrating his life. You and me deserve the same. That's why we need to fight to have a better Zimbabwe. And whatever it takes for you and me, we need to do it to make sure that we restore that family structure. It is important. I'm a family-oriented person, and I still stuck to my guns. We didn't come into this world to suffer. We came to this world to love each other, to unite, to celebrate. What is it? Brying, eating, drinking, laugh. That's what life is all about. We are tired of visiting funerals. It's time for us to visit in family dinners, lunch, Sunday supper, that kind of thing, that kind of thing. Let's restore our dignity. The Zimbabwe that we all want. That's why we're fighting. We are saying Chamisa must be the president of Zimbabwe. And he will. And pray for Sadak tomorrow. They're sitting tomorrow. Pray for divine intervention. Don't forget that. Very important. Do not undermine the power of prayer. Prayer is powerful. Let's pray for Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwe that we all want. Let's pray for it. You and me, we should pray for Zimbabwe that we want. Very important. I just want to get in there so I can send you some shout out. So that you, I can just send you some shout out and say goodbye to everybody. Trust me. I love you. I love you so much. I'm just getting to get here. Let's see. I love you so much. I just want to say, relax. For those that were commenting, I'm right here. I want to send you some shout out. Who is it now? All right. So we have our, um, I have Neva. What's up? Neva, are you good? 
and if tapiwana is good to see you simba Alfred Makazo, good to see you. Destin Construction, shout out to you. <laughs> we have Fafi, oh, good to see you. Give you yield a shout out. How is the states? Are you guys doing well? Nisa, shout out to you. David, uh, Phineas, I have uh, no time to Chris the maker. Yo, I love you so much. I have Raymond here. Are you born? Can I tell you what happened today? Hey, I actually told my family, I said, I think I need to start behaving. <laughs> I went to. Um, to pick and pay. I went to the mall actually. I went into something and then I found myself in pick and pay. And when I was in pick and pay, then I'm just, I'm sitting there and this guy was pulling his story. So, and it, it, another girl, we tried to talk to my brother's son who was also misbehaving there. You know, my son that I was with in the mall was misbehaving. And uh, so this guy said to me, hey, when did you come back? I'm like, come back? From where? You know, you know? I was like, I thought you, I'm following your YouTube channel. This guy is a South African guy, actually. I maybe he's actually watching right now. He's a South African guy. And he said to me, um, you know, I'm watching your YouTube channel, actually. And I thought you were not, yeah, you're not in South Africa. I'm like, no, I've been here nearly 20 years. <laughs> South Africa has been my home, yeah. This kind of raised me to be who I am today. So listen to me. It's really, things are working in. It raised me to be who I am to be. Whether we like it or not, I don't know if I was in Zimbabwe, where I will be. So I'm so grateful that at least I left and I came here. This kind of raised me to be who I am today. Whether we like it or not, there are still systems that work here. Principles that work. That's where I am here. That's where you can see me talking. South Africa raised me to be who I am. Don't let people lie to you. So I know most of you, if you, you met me, just say hello. But please, if I don't, just, I'm not, I'm not, uh, sometimes I'm shy. I'm not, uh, uh, yeah, I'm very shy, actually. For your information, I'm very shy. Um, so just say praise the Lord. All right, so then we have uh, Alfred. Shout out to you, man. Mr. X. Um, then we have Big Drew. Charm Trio. We have uh, um, Charm Tufa TV. Shout out to you. <laughs> please don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. Charm Tufa is doing absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. He's also teaching the absolutely amazing. Please Please subscribe to his channel, please. And then Ediga too, same Mazere Ganwa. Also, memory again, Constantia Biring. Oh, okay, sorry, praise God. But it's Constantia. Shout out to you. Uh, there's also CCC official. Oh, ooh. praise God. <laughs> I'm scared, yo. Yo, I'm scared. I'm scared. That's I love you so much. I just pray that you sleep tight. Trust me, I love you so much. I, my heart desire is to see you guys enjoying life and live like a fulfilled life. That's my desire. That's my prayer. My prayer for you is to live a fulfilled life. That's my prayer. And you know what? God, I know he has never failed. Every prayer that I pray, God answers. Trust me. When I pray, God answers. He does answer me any day. He answers my prayers. And I know that you answer this prayer too. That's my prayer. And again, sleep tight. And uh, if you wake up, just have a great day. I love you so much. And see you tomorrow. And uh, may God bless you. And may God bless Zimbabwe. I love you so much. Bless you.